It's late Saturday night, and underneath the moonlit skies, Dalton Manhele walks through the deserted streets of downtown Johannesburg. The drab overcoat he wears camouflages a man dressed to the nines. Dalton is on his way to Jeppe Hostel to participate in a fashion show with an unusual flavor. It's after 11 o'clock, and the disused basement he enters reverberates with rhythmic harmonizing. Once the singers have left the makeshift stage, Dalton and about a dozen or so men take turns to impress the hostel dwellers. They are here to compete, to see who is the best dressed man amongst them. They are called the Swankers. It's unusual, it's different. It's something uh, fun, something light. They're such cool guys, they perform. This whole performance, this whole culture, this whole ritual of performance. And they do this every Saturday night. This fashion show in the dirty basement with discarded broken beds and razor wire lying around is a study in contrasts. The Swankers are ordinary workers, yet they are clothed in Carducci and Cardin suits with their Italian shoes and silk ties. T.J. Lemon, chief photographer of the Sunday Independent, felt that this subject material would be the ideal project for him to focus on, to relieve the stress of his demanding press work. It was just so different. And I think uh, South African documentary photography has always been so serious and so heavy. It just needs a slightly lighter touch. The Jeppe Hostel basement has become a regular hangout for T.J., who has captured the slick style of the swankers on celluloid. All through the week, there have been nobody in the factory wearing an overall, um, and uh, they just waited for this moment to really put on their best suit and really glow in that moment on stage and be somebody. I feel like uh, as if uh, I can do something more than what I'm doing. Sabelo Fuatswayo works as a security officer at a departmental store during the day. As a small boy, he proudly remembers his father dressing meticulously for the Saturday night swanking sessions. About a year ago, he decided to follow him in his shiny leather footsteps. I take my father as my role model. When I grew up, my father was different from the other uh, fathers. Sabello's father, Alpheus, cuts a fine figure as he parades one of his 20 suits in front of the judges. He started swanking 35 years ago because he was attracted to the dignity of the occasion. I Swanking is believed to have developed when migrant workers, who mostly lived in the city's hostels, would return home for the Christmas holidays. To show their family they had reached a measure of success in the city, they would parade their best clothes to the villagers. And then from there, it also became a part of hostel culture up in Johannesburg. Preparation for going home, the men would practice and perform. Um, and it became a competition. Men would put on their suits and compete. It's a weekly institution for Dalton Manglele, a glass fitter who stays in nearby Denver Hostel. His passion for this art form is reflected in his scrupulous attention to style and detail. You work Monday to Friday every day, and you think about Saturday night. What does it mean to you? Saturday. <laughs> For most of the swankers, muti is an integral part of their routine. This ointment that Dalton is applying to his feet is to make him sure-footed when he struts his stuff in front of the judge tonight. Dalton's style is graceful and light as he flourishes in front of the judges. For them, it's also about, it's, 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 it's kind of a whole affirmation. It's as though all week they're waiting for this moment to really be somebody, to be an individual. 
ngiyengizizwe ngitabuleka kakhulu kube ngazi ukuthi kukhona esengibeni ayikho manje ngapha mbukwe church ngiyengizibone ngumuntu omkhulu kakhulu noma ngithi ngiyabheka ababuke layo lengendlela okuye kube yiyona ke kungikhombi sebe ukuthi kushuthi kanti ngise zingene elithile Simon Kaza reconditions water pumps at an engineering firm near Jeppy Hostel Although he earns a moderate salary Simon sees the clothes that he buys as an investment A good suit earns good money In Amasuto au 7 How much do you pay for each suit? I order 81500 into 2000 each. And the shoes and the shirts and the tie. Especially my shirt from 200 to 300. It's cut to 500 to 2000. The Swankers compete for a pooled entry fee and soon start their final preparations. Gold tie clasps are straightened, designer suits adjusted, and silk hankies skillfully arranged. And it's only towards midnight that they will go and find a judge, and the judge might arrive around 12.30, 1 o'clock. And then when the judge finally arrives, then the competition can begin. The judge of the event sits here. He has no contact whatsoever with anyone. The organizers of the event go to great lengths to find an impartial observer. As soon as the rules are explained to the judges whom the organizers select at random every week from the streets in Johannesburg, the competition begins. Hey, what's the number one? This unusual photo essay earned TJ two prestigious accolades this year, the CNN and World Press Photographic Awards. I think people, people actually like the, the positive feel about it. I think that there's, there's something about these images that make people feel special. I think there's something about these images that people haven't seen before. Time for the judge's decision. Assessed on presentation, style, and detail, Sabello's skillful study in muted pinks wins tonight's competition. But I feel very much, uh, I mean, very much glad. Uh, it's not fair. I achieved my, uh, my, my wishes. You see. Well done, eh? All right. family they had reached a measure of